Hey YouTube, welcome back to Cyberpunk Tech and the second episode of Free Tech Fridays. This is a series where we just talk about technology and it's basically a free-for-all as long as it's still related to technology. We can talk about phones, we can talk about computers, about movies, we can talk about any technology news that's out there. So any requests you guys may have for me to talk about, for me to do some research on, just leave some comments down below and we'll see what we can do. We'll get some of that stuff featured in the next upcoming episodes. Now, for this, for this episode, we're gonna get you guys some free movies, you know? Everybody likes free movies, nobody's willing to go buy DVD or Blu-ray player anymore. So I'm gonna show you guys how to watch new releases, 1080p, full HD movies for free from your computer. And before we get into the topic of exactly how to do that, do me a favor and so hit the subscribe button and that like button. Let's try and achieve our goal for now. It is just 100 subscribers. We're going to start out small baby steps, but hopefully we'll reach. So in the meantime, how about we just cut over the video? Okay guys, so what I'm about to show you, it's a multi-platform free software BitTorrent client. And this thing includes an integrated media player. And to go a little bit further, this application is just a free alternative to subscription-based video streaming services like Netflix and Hulu and everything else. So how about we get right into it and I'll show you guys what to do. So just open up your, your browser, any browser. Let me switch accounts quickly. And you will type in popcorn time. Ah, we can do it up here. Popcorn, popcorn time. Dot sh. Right here, the first link, you'll be clicking on that. And for these purposes, I uninstalled it from my computer and I will go with you guys step by step on exactly what to do next. So let's download, wait, for Windows and above, and other operating systems and platforms, you can get this on a Mac, just so you guys know. So all of you iOS users, this is no problem. Now let's download Popcorn Time 3.10. Oh, yes, I'm going to accept the risk because there isn't much of a risk. I never had an issue or a virus from this. Now we will wait until our download will begin. And now that it is done, we will run the exe file. Let's minimize that. Welcome to Popcorn Time Setup. Popcorn Time was probably the best thing I've ever found. I agree, agree again. Doesn't take up much space. Let it install. And guys, you can watch any movies, any TV shows. Like I, this is where I got caught up on Game of Thrones. Uh, this. The episodes were updated, like they were on here about an hour or so after they were actually aired on HBO. So I mean, just don't go on Facebook and then you won't get spoiled with what happened. But it's great, like lots of movies, lots of TV shows, any genre that you want. And it's just very nice and friendly user interface. And I'm hoping that you guys will use this a lot because now with Netflix prices going up, it's just, it's just not worth it anymore. Okay guys, so now that it's done, you guys can either click Run Popcorn Time or Desktop Shortcut. I will just run Popcorn Time. Wow, looks like butter. I accept. Here it is guys. Here it's the beautiful BitTorrent for basically any movie that you want. It's quite simple. It doesn't have every movie, but it has a lot of the movies. Like Trolls just came out, Jack Reacher. Never, never go back. Like a lot of very good movies. You can. There's a lot. Just keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. I'm gonna keep. 
keep scrolling. And there's from very old movies like Rush Hour 98 to 2017 movies. So it's... That's My Boy came out in 2012. Holy... Yeah, so here you can go movies, series, TV series, suits, supernatural, scandal. Ooh, scandal. New episodes are out. Um, Game of Thrones, obviously. There's a lot. And then anime, for all of you anime lovers. Indie movies as well. You can sort by genre if you want a documentary. No, I don't want indie documentaries. I want movies. Genre. And still comedies. And there you have uh, Deadpool. That's a comedy. And you can sort by trending, popular, popularity. Let's go. Uh, Deadpool. <laughs> by popularity, by last added, last added we have Death Race 2050, a 2017 movie. So there we go. Now here you can hit shuffle, or it will randomize all the movies. Ooh, War Dogs. Haven't seen that yet. You can select favorites. You can put films in your watch list. You can drop magnet or torrents for other good movies. Project Butter. And now let's just go back to movies and let's watch. Let's watch a quick movie here, guys. Uh, let's go War Dogs. I haven't seen it yet. You may click on it. You can watch the trailer. Here you can select between 720p and 1080p. What it really does is, well, it sort of downloads it to your computer but it's not permanently there. As you can see, the download's pretty quick and I've got shitty internet. Okay. Yeah, you will need to let it buffer, just like a YouTube video and whatnot, but to me, that is no issue. Actually, let's try and watch Suicide Squad. I expected better from this movie, but it wasn't horrible. It's downloading quickly. And I believe for the purposes of this, I will try and watch it in 720p, just so you guys can get a good idea of how well this actually works. My slow internet's actually up. Let's try and full screen this. It's obviously got a buffer. But here we go, guys. That is some great picture quality. Look at that. Guys, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Now you can watch it if you want. Tell your friends. Hit the like button, please. It would really help me out a lot. And I'll let you guys get